Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. So we're doing the fifth of the original six Toa. This is set 8533 Galley, the Toa of Water. Came out in 2001, retailed for $6.99. And there was also a re-release with a mini CD-ROM, just like with all the others. I don't have the canister or instructions for this one, although I did just order... Uh, a replacement canister right before filming this. So that should be here in like a week or so. Uh, if you wanted to pick this up on Bricklink, used goes for about 10 bucks in various states of, you know, is it there, is it not there, what's broken, what isn't broken. Uh, then goes up there from 10. Uh, most of them do not have the original canister. Uh, if you want to get it sealed, there are two listings on Bricklink. One is from Canada for $118, and the other is from the Netherlands for $201. So you're kind of limited on that. If you wanted to find her on eBay, you get her by herself for about $15 to $20. Comes up from there. Uh, if you want it with can or with the instructions or either or, usually not all together, it's about $25 to $40-ish range. I saw some listings there. Some of them are all of them, the figure, the can, and the instructions. You can get those for about like 30 plus. If you want to get it sealed, the eBay listings are anywhere between 145 and 190 I think there's like six or seven on there. That's sort of the range they're at. So, uh, yeah, pick and choose. This was... Honestly, my favorite of the original six. I'm not sure why. I think it's the badass hook she has. Um, and it's a very pleasant blue color. Uh, so of the original six, she is the only female character. Um, and also uniquely, she's the only one who has a trans clear mask. All the other ones are opaque and hers is transparent. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. You can actually see her face through it, uh, unlike the other ones. Another thing that is unique to her, besides her weapons, obviously, is that her chest piece here is a blue-colored uh, ball and socket uh, part, the socket part of that. Uh, all the other ones uh, don't have that. A couple of them have the, uh, like the ball part on their chest. I think Liwa, Tahu, and Kopaka have it. And then uh, she's got the socket part. And it kind of fills it out a little bit more. Um, she, like the others, has karate chop action. Uh, but hers is both arms. Because she's got these, you know, swimming and the clawing and stuff like that. Uh, her legs, just like Onua, go upwards. By what I mean that is the wider part is up here, as opposed to the other four where they are at the bottom. So she got legs, y'all. <laughs> um, which makes sense, because, you know, she does a lot of swimming. Uh, other than that, the design is basically the same, with just like all the others. Um, it was very simple designs for these original Toa and the next line of them as well. They're all basically the same. So they didn't have to do too much on the overall design. They just color swapped the parts. Which was kind of genius for them, you know. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know what else to say about her. Um, I like water. I'm an Aquarius. Uh, these hooks are pretty badass. I mean, like, I don't know. Very nice blue color. Yeah, it's kind of be kind of a short video because I don't really have much to say about her. I don't have any wild revelations or anything. Just, she's cool. All right. See you guys.